Hi, welcome to Gammy Gammy. Today we have another Stitch and Movie video. I wasn't sure what I was going to watch for my D movie. Um, I thought about Descendants, and I'd also thought about A Dog's Journey. I went and read the review for A Dog's Journey, and it seemed like a really sad movie to be uh, a kid's movie. It, uh, a dog gets reincarnated through several different lives, and I just didn't want to see the dog die. But when I looked at Descendants, it was three. And I don't like to watch a third movie without seeing the first two, so that was out. So I went to look for the dog movie, and I ended up watching A Dog's Way Home instead of the other one. And I thought I'd had that one, and I was expecting the whole time for the dog to die, <laughs> and it never did. So uh, I'm a little bit uh, uh, more inclined to uh, recommend the movie because it's full of... Uh, all kinds of emotions. There are a lot of sad parts in it. Uh, they were twice as sad to me because I thought, oh my gosh, this is the time the dog's going to die. I'm, I'm just ready to shed all kinds of tears. In fact, there was one uh, event had me a holler, no, no, don't die. And uh, my, my husband come in here to check on me because I, I, he had thought somebody had really got hurt or, or, or something worse. And uh, it was just a movie. And it ended up with a happy ending as a good family movie should. Um, a bit of a warning if you are an animal lover. Go into this prepared to, to have some uh, angst. Because there are several different spots in the movie where there's a possibility something bad could happen to the the dog but it ends up all right um i wouldn't recommend young children to watch this because there are several different parts in it that could be uh could be quite scary for them uh, if you do watch it with your children be prepared to tell them it's gonna be all right she's gonna be all right don't worry just just comfort them and settle them uh, but I'd watch it first so you can decide whether to watch it with your kids but overall I do recommend the movie it 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 did pull on your heartstrings and make you happy make you sad make you angry about all the emotions you go through with this movie um, my next oh I forgot to show what I worked on I forgot to tell you what I'm gonna do next I I pulled this out of uh, hibernation. Look for my stitch marker. I had one on here. Well, anyway, I when I picked it up, I had one row of this brown done, and uh, oh, here it is on the other side. There we go. Right there. So I was right there. I just come across this little bit on this row so I had let's see how wide it is it's up more than my wingspan and I would have had more done on this but I got really into the movie and I may I'm only supposed to have two rows per color and I made about four rows of this before I realized I'd gone way too far so I had to pull out those two rows and then put these two rows back in and I got to the end of the row and cut my yarn over here on this side right as the movie ended. So that worked out well for me. I'm, I'm, uh, this, I, I, at the time I was really out of favor with tying in ends. I just don't like sewing, uh, at least not by hand. And, uh, Tying in ends were a bit of a pain, but after that year of the granny I just had, ends don't matter as much as they used to. It doesn't bother me as much to, to tie them in. So I'm good with this blanket again. I think somebody will enjoy it. I got to looking at my yarn, and I don't think I'm going to have enough to make a really tall one. But there might be enough to make a lap gan out of it. Or something. 
too wide to be a baby blanket, but I'll figure out something. Uh, I may even have to add it in a different yarn, but this is going to be, I think it's going to be quite awesome. It might accidentally end up laying on one of my grandkids' beds or one of my kids' houses. I don't know, if, if none of them want it, then I'll wash it up and, and super vinegar, some vinegar or some, that, that works good. Vinegar or hair conditioner helps soften up rough yarns. Those aren't real fun yarns. They're not bad yarns, but they're not real fun. Well, anyway, for my e-movie, I looked around and there is nothing on Hulu for kids. I looked at a couple different places, never did find anything that I might want to watch. Uh, I thought about East of Eden, but I've gone this far without seeing it. I'm not sure I really want to. Um, but I do remember watching Eraser with Arnold Schwarzenegger. So that's my plan to rewatch that. I, I like that movie. And uh, yeah, unless I find something else, like Edward Scissored Hands, that's kind of a kid's movie. I don't like that movie. Johnny Depp. Oh my gosh. In Pirates of the Caribbean. You can just eat him with a spoon. He's so. Mm -mm -mm. But. In most of his other stuff he's done. It's hit or miss with Johnny Depp. I'm sorry. I, I love him to death. But. Can't count on him to have a good movie. But most of Arnold's. Have been pretty good. Especially the action ones. Well anyway. Uh. I've had fun today. It's been a long day, and I know I'm putting this up pretty late. It may even be late tonight before it gets there, but at least I did get her done. You'll hear more about what I did today in my video for next week. You guys stay safe, and uh, remember to be kind to each other. Bye-bye.